it's looking really beautiful i actually love it and i'm sorry for doubting shea moisture and talking shit about them because girl listen this looks amazing okay Welcome to my channel, it's Tove Naturally, and today I'll be doing a Shea Moisture review on the Curl Enhancing Smoothie. So the last time I did a review on the Curling Gel Sofe, and I made a video on it, so if you haven't watched it, you can go check it out. And in that video, I basically hated this thing right here. I have a bad review for the Shea Moisture Curling Sofe, and I do not recommend anyone to use No offense to the owners or whoever it works well for, but for me personally, it did not work well. Curling Gel Sofe, I still hate it. I really don't like it. I still hate it. But my friend Paige, you guys can go subscribe to her channel at It's Pagey. I'll put it down there but yeah she told me about the curl enhancing smoothie and she said it's way better than the curling gel sofa so i'm gonna see if she's actually right about this i'm gonna try it out so let's see how this turns out it smells really good it smells like candy so so far the review on the smell smells really good I have that amount in my hand and I'm gonna add a little more doesn't have enough slip like it's not really going through my hair it's still defined though hmm. we can work with that it's okay it's definitely better than the gel sofa sofa whatever I don't know how you say it I'm adding some to my roots because I don't like when my roots frizz up too much you know gotta get some roots then I'm raking it through with my finger once again Ooh, not bad guys it's really not that bad using this amount for the front it leaves my hair looking so stiff, like no bounce back, no nothing. This product is a eh. It's a eh. I'm not gonna say it doesn't look good. It looks good, but it's not, like I wouldn't say it's one of my favorite products because it's it's it doesn't have enough slip. Like I like when the products are slippery because it's more moisturizing. I prefer the way how this side came out than this side and I feel like that's because I have more damage on the left side of my hair than this side. So I'm not gonna blame Shea Moisture for not making this side of my hair look good. I'm just gonna blame my heat damage. bad it's not bad it's it's that's pretty it's not it's it's, it's okay <laughs> we can't work with this it's not the best of the best but you know i can work with this like this is a product i will actually keep because like this this thing right here the gel sulfate this is ass and i'm literally gonna throw it in the trash 
you guys can go check it out how my hair looked with this it was uh okay it did not define my curls or nothing this is literally ass i recommend this for people with really thick hair so if you know your hair is like really thick and it's like hard to define it i would recommend this but for me personally it's too thick and my hair likes products that are like slimy so my hair likes slimy products Taking that amount, we're just gonna slap it on there. Then I'm gonna use my brush and just brush it. be back to show you guys the dry results bye what's up y'all it's the next day and my hair is finally dry oh, it's looking really beautiful i actually love it and i'm sorry for doubting shea moisture and talking shit about them because girl listen this looks amazing okay? it looks pretty it's beautiful and it would have been even more like you know popping if i did it on wet hair because as you guys can see in the video my hair was kind of damp and like getting dry but i feel like if i did it on wet hair my curls would have been like you know more defined but i'm still happy with my results So what do you guys think? I want to know what you guys think. Do you guys love how the Shea Moisture Curling Smoothie make my hair look or no? Comment down below and thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button. And today's shout out goes to Paige as I already said before. Shout out to you.